Hello children today we will learn the 7th chapter in science the name of the chapter is nesting habits of birds nest is the home for the birds nest is used by the birds to lay eggs have you seen the nests of birds how do they look where are they built have you peeked inside one you might have seen the nests of birds usually they look in different shapes the most common variety of nest will be according to how it is given in this particular image usually they are built on the branches of the trees few nests will be made with the help of mud by certain birds called swallows they will stick the mud to the uh, roof or even it can be walls walls of the houses or buildings and they make the nest have you peeked inside one you might have seen even the inside of the nest it will be somewhat like this after learning this chapter we'll be able to describe how birds reproduce describe the different kinds of nests that birds build say why some birds travel long distances how do birds reproduce all birds reproduce by laying eggs reproduce means how they increase their number so all birds will reproduce by laying eggs when they have to lay eggs they build homes called nests nests are made by the bird before they lay eggs usually the female bird sits on the eggs to keep them warm sometimes the male bird also sits on them usually the female bird what we call like mother bird will sit on the eggs to keep them warm sometimes even the male bird that is father bird will also sit them to keep them warm after few days the eggs break open and baby birds chicks come out this process is called this is called hatching see after keeping the eggs warm by the parent birds the eggs break open and the baby birds will come out so this is called hatching you can see here the eggs of the bird and when it is actually kept warm by the parent bird one fine day the young ones or chicks will come out so this process is called hatching most chicks do not have feathers as soon they are born most chicks will not have feathers they are helpless as you were when you were born they will be helpless they will be weak also it is very similar to when we were born how we will be in the same manner even the young chicks will be some chicks have feathers and can run around few chicks will have feathers and they can run around the parents protect and feed the chicks until they can look after themselves and learn to fly so until the young chicks can look after themselves as well as learn to fly parents will protect the young chicks as well as they feed the chicks after the young birds fly away the parents also leave the nest of the young birds when they grow up when they get feathers when they fly away the uh, parent bird also will leave the nest most birds build a ne new nest every time they have to lay eggs most of the birds they build a new nest each time they need to lay eggs did you know the ostrich lays the biggest eggs among all the birds an ostrich egg is as big as 24 hens eggs put together in weight do you know ostrich will lay the biggest egg and do you know how big the ostrich egg is if we keep 24 ants egg okay so its weight will be equivalent to one ostrich egg 24 hens eggs together that actually forms one ostrich egg so that's something very special kinds of nests kinds means types of nests different birds build different kinds of nest each bird will build its own kind of nest most birds use twigs leaves cotton or feathers to make their nests many birds will use twigs Sm twigs means small thin branch of a plant even it can use leaves cotton or feathers to make their nests some birds use pebbles and mud few birds will also use pebbles pebbles means small smooth stone so that is called pebbles and even it can also use mud a weaver bird makes a ball like nest that hangs from a tree the nest has an opening at the bottom through which the bird enters and leaves you can see this is weaver bird nest it looks like a ball and it is actually 
connected to a branch of the tree. The unit has got an opening at the bottom. Through this opening, the bird will enter and when, you want, when it wants, it can leave. So, through this opening. Then, a tailor bird stitches leaves together to make a nest. You can see a tailor bird will stitch the leaves together to make a nest. Very unique and special nest made by a tailor bird. It looks like the stitches of stitches as put by a tailor. So that's why it is called tailor bird. An eagle builds its nest high on trees or cliffs with sticks and twigs. An eagle, an eagle will make a nest high on trees or cliffs. Okay, with sticks and twigs. With sticks and twigs it will make a nest on the top of the tree or on the top of the cliff. And okay, here you can see. Then, a stork builds his nest on trees with sticks. You can see a stork here. It will also make a nest on the top of the tree so with, by using sticks. A woodpecker makes a hole in a tree trunk and uses it as its nest. A woodpecker will make a hole in the tree trunk and that will be used as its nest. A swan builds its nest on the ground near water bodies using reeds and grass. A swan, you can see, it will make the nest on the ground. So, mainly near a water. Okay. By using reed. Reed means a tall grass and grass. Okay. That is a different variety of grass, reeds. Okay. Then, some kinds of swallows build nests on cliffs and walls with mud. So, swallows, you can have a look at by using mud. Okay. It will make a nest, especially on the cliff and walls. Okay. By using mud. Here you can see penguin's nest. Uh, you know like what is cliff means? Cliff means it can be at edge of the rock. Okay, at edge of the rock. Okay, that is actually called as cliff. Then, especially a big rock, remember. And even it can be at edge of the rock, especially on the mountain top. So that can be also a cliff. A penguin's nest. Okay, if you have a look at here, penguin by use pebbles. Small, round, smooth stones. As its nest. So you can see here it has used a pebble to make its nest. Some kinds of penguins build a nest with stones. The emperor penguin holds its egg on its feet and warms it with its body. Penguin will make the nest by using stones. Emperor penguin will keep its egg on its feet and will warm it with its body. Looking back, answer the following questions. What is hatching? What is hatching? When the parent bird will make the egg warmer, the egg shells will break and the young chicks or young ones will come out. So that process is called hatching. Second one, why do birds build nests in places that are difficult for us to see or reach? Mainly to protect the young chicks. Birds will make nests in such places which will be difficult for us to see or reach. Third one, how does the waver bird build its nest? Waver bird will build its nest by using twigs. But the nest will be somewhat like a ball. And the nest will be connected to the branch of the tree. And it will have an opening at the bottom. Through which the bird can enter or it can live. Migration. Birds are great travelers. Travelers means will move from place to place. Many birds that live in cold places fly thousands of kilometers to warmer places during winter. They lay their eggs there. When the winter is over, they fly back with their young ones. So their long journey is called migration. Do you know birds which are in cold place where the winter is very severe means it will be very very cold. At that time birds they move to warmer places. They migrate, they travel to warmer places. And they lay eggs there in the warm region. Later for a few months will stay in that warmer region. At the same time the young one will also grow up. Now along with the young ones they return back to their original place. Now, the place from there where they have come. So this long travel of birds moving from winter to summer place. So that is called migration. For example, Siberian cranes fly from Siberia in Russia to China or Iran in the winter. They fly back to Siberia in the summer. Siberian cranes, they fly from Siberia in Russia, especially during winter, to China or Iran. Okay, a little warmer place compared to Siberia. They fly back to Siberia mainly when it is summer there. 
when in siberia when it uh, when it is in summer at that time okay these birds will fly back you can see here few birds which are traveling or migrating no one knows how these birds find their way it's very interesting it's one natural mystery no one knows how these birds can find the path they come from a long place again they go back to uh, like that place by flying long distance perhaps they use the position of the sun and the stars many biologists they believe biologist means one who study biology about birds and other animals plants okay they believe position of the sun and stars are used by these birds during their long migration did you know the arctic tern you can see this is arctic tern it will travel from arctic region to antarctic region where it spends its winter it will spend its winter in antarctica it flies back to the arctic region in the summer again it will fly back to arctic region in summer it flies approximately 40000 kilometers every year that's really interesting so it can fly nearly 40000 kilometers each year it will migrate by traveling 40000 kilometers let me summarize this now birds build nests when they have to lay eggs the parent birds sit on the eggs to keep them warm the parent birds protect and feed the young ones till they learn to fly different birds make different kinds of nests birds living in cold places fly to warmer places during winter so this is called migration